hi everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to talk to you about the new NARS light reflecting foundation is that what it's called yes and um, this one looks like I bought this last month did I need a new foundation no but I just was really interested I've seen so many kind of beauty influencers talking about it on Instagram and on TikTok and it looked gorgeous on them so I was like oh, I need that so back in 2020 I treated myself to the natural radiant longwear foundation from NARS and I loved that it's like a proper full coverage matte foundation um, but I don't know maybe it's like coming into the summer and I was like I just don't have like a little bit like lighter glowier foundation and everybody's skin looked so glowy and dewy with this so I was like I'm going to give it a go I didn't do a huge amount of my own research I just kind of went by what I saw people um, talking about online and I went into Arnott's and I colour matched myself on the back of my head I know I bought the shade Deauville because that's what I am in this that's what I kind of figured I would be I'll show you now they are uh, the same shade I need the texture actually of the two side by side is the light reflecting foundation and that's the natural radiant long wear so you can see that the light reflecting one it's a little bit looser in texture kind of more liquidy and the natural radiant long wear is thicker if i bring it too close to the camera it'll wash itself out but you can see the two shades there the light reflecting one just looks a little bit paler because it's got a different texture but it dries down um to be the same shade i'll show you actually do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do half a face with this half a face with this so you can see because I did get a message on Instagram when I showed this that I bought it from people asking if I would compare the two so that's that's what I do um so let me just tell you first this was 48 euro I don't know why I'm saying it like that it just sounds like a lot our foundation is getting more and more expensive I don't know this is said to be a hybrid of skincare and makeup so similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. It seems to be that skincare in makeup is all the rage at the moment. So let me just explain to you. It says here, described as an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that instantly blurs and smooths while visibly improving the skin's clarity over time. So the skincare ingredients are said to visibly improve the skin's clarity after six weeks of daily use, even after your makeup is removed. Um, suitable for most skin types, medium buildable coverage with a natural finish, breathable all day wear, 36 shades. Okay, so let me just, I don't want to like waffle too much. I'm going to use my Sosu sponge and I'll apply a pump's worth. So you only get like a little tiny little amount from a pump. So I feel like I use more of the, no, it's probably I'm not using more. I feel like I'm using more because I'm having to use like a few different, uh, a few pumps. So... I like to bounce it in and it actually works really really nicely uh, with a brush too. I should, the brush that I was using recently was this one from Blank Canvas. It's the F01. It's really nice. There's like a little set that has a, a pink handled one and a purple handled one as well. I didn't freshly apply my moisturiser. I've applied it like got a couple of hours ago now at this point. I definitely could have gone a shade lighter but I just thought I'd be raging if I got a different shade compared to this and then it wasn't the right, I, I know I would have had like regret and kind of so I'm like they're the same shades and you know what it'll work for this review. <laughs> when I apply this to my skin I don't get the glowiness, the shininess, the dewiness that others seem to get. Maybe it's because I don't put my skincare on right before this. Anyway but I really really like the finish of this. So when I was in Arnott's and I was like applying it to the back of my hand and I was chatting to my friend Mags and I let it set on my hand just to see what the finish would be like. And I was like, oh my God, I like, I actually really like this because it had like a really kind of natural satin finish because as I've said to you many times on here, I find that the finish on this is stunning, but I can feel it on my skin. I can't feel this on my skin. That's the type of makeup I'm all about. Um, now it is worth noting, it's pretty common knowledge that the NARS foundations, they do run quite yellow. I like that because it helps to counteract the redness in my face. And you can see, look, this down my nose, even coverage here covers up most of the redness on my cheeks. I will go back in with another layer. Let me just apply a tiny little bit onto my chin. And yeah, I would say that this is a medium level of coverage and it dries down really nicely. Now, it actually reminds me a lot of the Studio Fix Fluid from MAC in terms of the finish that it gives on my skin. I just wanted to show you the finish. So that's kind of, I say one layer, but I used three pumps for my, like at half my face so that you could see, but you can shear it out that little bit more. What I'd recommend if you did want to shear it out is to apply it on the back of your hand and then dot it around your face. You're more likely to use less rather than applying onto your sponge and then dotting it. That's what I think as well. But that's the finish. That's like obviously the visage with no foundation. And then that's it there. 
let me come up close and personal. So it gives a really decent level of coverage. And it looks like skin as well. It has an ever so slight, slight, at the moment it has a very slight tackiness to it, but that will dry down. I'm gonna do the other side with the natural radiant long wear. Now, <laughs> this is probably out of date at this point, but sure. Just for the purpose of the video, be taking it off after. And I'm gonna use the other side of the sponge. So actually, in fairness, the pumpage, the amount that comes out, it's the same side. I'm gonna try and use the same amount of product on both sides of my face. So I used like a pump kind of here on the cheeks and including the nose. I used the majority of a pump here and then down here too, so. Just so that we have like a proper comparison. Now this definitely looks heavier on my skin and it's given more coverage too, for sure. I'm just gonna use the clean part of the sponge there because I just wanna soften the edges. Because I think I used a little bit too much and it's, it's sitting obviously at my hairline. That's the natural radiant long wear. That's the light reflecting foundation. Let me just come back a little bit because I know when I bring my face closer to the window it washes it out a little bit so you can see the level of coverage that both give. In terms of how they feel they feel pretty much the same. I probably would as I said build up on this side just on my cheek like a tiny little bit I'll show you now. Because the coverage is that little bit lighter I just have blemishes here on my cheek at the moment, so I'm just gonna, that's probably too much. But I can show you that it is buildable, really, really nicely buildable. It doesn't move the layer underneath. If we did want a bit more coverage, you could. If you wanted to sheer it out a bit more, you absolutely could. You could mix in your moisturizer with it to just make it a little bit more daytime. Not daytime appropriate, but if you just wanted like something a little bit sheer. You can see there that it dries to almost like a, a satiny finish. I don't seem to be getting the same glow that others are getting. But I think I like that. I think if it was too glowy, I'd have, I'd be given out and kind of gone, oh God, I feel like I have to powder that down. But it feels really, really nice on the skin. I think this is definitely heavier in consistency. It's heavier in coverage but it feels the same on my skin. Genuinely it does, it feels the same on my skin. I'd say that this is suitable for all skin types and I think I would tend to agree. If you have super oily skin and you're not a fan of having like a tacky, uh, slightly tacky base, you might want to powder it down. Sometimes I'll powder it down depending on the look that I want. Um, but for the majority of the time, I'm happy with this, happy with that. So yes, 48 euro, comes in 36 shades. I think they need to do a lot more work on their color range. Um, and having things that are maybe more neutral, maybe more pink toned for those who aren't a fan of yellow toned like myself. I always feel like when I only have foundation and I've no rest of my makeup, I look like an egg. <laughs> but I'm really, really enjoying this. And as I said, if you have this chance, do you know what, I'll show you, let me show you the two of those. This is the NARS one, that's the MAC one. In terms of texture, the NARS one is a little bit more liquidy, a little bit looser, and the MAC one is a bit creamier. The shades are close enough, I am shade. NC15 in the MAC one. I'm not saying the shades are perfect, but um, the finish, pretty much identical. When it comes to longevity, this foundation, I think it looks better on my skin the longer the day goes on. I don't think that this foundation um, emphasizes my pores or any fine lines or anything like that. I haven't worn it every day for six weeks, so I can't tell you about the skincare benefits, but as I've spoken about in um, my video on the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, when it comes to skincare claims with makeup, to me that's the cherry on top like the, having those skincare benefits they're never going to replace my usual skincare routine but anyway I hope that this review was a little bit helpful if you were curious to see how both foundations look side by side if you have any questions about the foundation at all let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video